hello guys i hope you are doing pretty fucking dope so in this video we will talk about how you can build something like this so you can see that if i follow if i move the cursor uh, the head is following my cursor and it is moving in that same particular direction uh, as i move down my cursor and the hand is also moving but it is moving randomly as you can see that the robot is a 3d model and it is built using spline and i will show you in this video how you can integrate this 3d model into your web browser using spline so let's get right into the video so now let's move on to our vs code so now what i will do is i will create a separate route for that particular project so inside the app I will create a file called spline and inside this file I will create a page .tsx file to create that particular route I will RAFC this and so now what you will have to do is after creating this route you have to uh, go there and try that route spline let's see it will work or not so it is working and it is showing us the page text so go to spline.design of uh, this website so this is a very cool tool uh, to design your 3d elements and by the way this video is not sponsored by spline i am making this video because i like this tool very much and firstly you have to log in and i have already successfully logged in to the spline and there are already uh, very much 3d elements there uh, so what you can do is go on to this community tab and there are already many 3d element that exist as you can see there are many of the 3d elements and you can use this 3d element on your web project or any other places you like so i am using this robot so click on this robot and as you can see that you can view the preview of that 3d model and now if you click on this canvas uh, it will become interactive just like this so this is uh, running on spline so what we will do is we will have to remix this project so that you can modify this 3d model on your own so click on this remix button and it will move you to the editor page so after that uh, i will just make it small just like this and you can modify this 3d model as you like you can like move around and do stuff that you like uh, but i will not try to modify it so what i will do is i will click on this export button and inside there there is code export tab click on that and there is already existing code for uh, to integrate into your web so what you can do is copy this so it is loading uh, wait some time so after it has been loaded uh, click this link and code copy to clipboard and go inside your project and i will just paste it right here so what i will do is i will uh, so what we can do is you have to imply uh, import the spline from this library but we have not installed that library and you can use this spline just like this and inside this div i will remove it and make it like this and i will remove this code and so it is importing spline from spline tool slash react dash spline so what i will do is i will install this package so that it will run uh, onto our project so to install package i am using pnpm so you can use it also pnpm add at the red spline tool slash react dash spline so up to react spline you have to install this uh, project install this package so i will install this package oh sorry i have misspelled the project package name so what i will do is spline t-o-o-l tool at the red spline tool slash react dash spline so the package is installing so the package has been successfully installed and after successfully installed of the package you can now visit your web page and just hit the reload button 
and as you can see that our 3d model has been successfully integrated into our web browser and it has this feature also if you move your cursor it will follow your cursor the robot will follow your cursor and this is how you can use a spline 3d model into your web browser in next.js i'm using next.js and you can use the same process with react or beat project also so it is showing us that it is built with spline so to remove this watermark you have to have premium of spline or you can use it on your personal project but this a watermark will be there so this is how you can integrate 3d model into your web browser i hope you like this video and i will see you in my next video